boys, I have a story for you today. Look, we've done a few stories in the past. Now, this is a hell of a story for you. This story actually happened yesterday. We've done a lot of charity streams on this channel, you guys will know. And the one charity that we always go back to is No Kid Hungry. You guys probably know them. They're a sick charity. Basically, they try to stop childhood hunger. So I, with the help of you guys, am able to curb just a little percentage of that by donating some money to this charity so that they can get meals to kids. Really cool thing. And so anyway, after the subathon, uh, I did my biggest contribution yet because we donated, I think, $200,000 directly to No Kid Hungry. They said, and I quote, the amount of money you donated from the subathon was able to feed over 2 million meals for kids, which is insane. That's a lot of millions. So because of that, I got sent this video. Hey Ludwig, this is Chef Travis coming to you from Voltaire in Brentwood. We understand that you've been a big fan of No Kid Hungry and have done some tremendous things to support that cause. And so to reward you for your efforts and to say thank you, I'd like to personally invite you and QT to come in and uh, experience my restaurant Voltaire uh, as a personal guest of mine. We'll see you soon. Kind of funny that an adult man has to call someone cutie. That's just, it's just kind of funny. Anyway, I got this invite to this restaurant. So we set up a date and our date was yesterday. It was like a Saturday night. And I didn't think anything of it really. Cause you know, No Kid Hungry, as far as charities go, is, is a bit of a smaller one. So I was like, yeah, we're going to go to this like little mom and pop restaurant, have a meal, whatever. It is what it is. Pull up me and QT. They have what we noticed first, valet. And I'm like, huh, that's fancy. We're driving like a, like a fucking Subaru. <laughs> There's a G wagon in front of us, but we're like, you know, whatever. That's cool. That's cool. If you don't know, I'm fully vaccinated along with many other millions of Americans. If you aren't hop on the train. And the reason I bring this up is because if you're vaccinated, you don't always have to wear a mask. Now I still do. All right. Not because I'm supposed to, but because I don't want people to look at me and go, hey, you look like you could storm the Capitol. Not having a mask, though, means that I'm going to be in public with my full face, which maybe to you like you're like, well, who cares about that? I kind of like the mask. So under my mask, I can do this. I'm excited because I haven't been in public face out in 18 months, 18 months ago. I had about 2,000 viewers and like 100,000 subs on YouTube. And now I got 2.7 million followers on Twitch and 1.6 million on YouTube. So I was like, sheesh, I might get noticed here. I'm not going to lie. I've been trying. Occasionally before stream, I'll just walk into Best Buys. No mask, just vibing. Not there to buy anything at all. I just point at Blue Yetis in the stream section. I was walking around one time trying to get just a crumb a goddamn crumb of attention for my ego. Some myth video starts playing for some Xbox advertisement. I don't even know. He's like, you plug in your controller like this. I'm gonna bring in a special guest to show you how it's done. And then a kid walks by and he goes, oh my God, it's myth. And I'm looking at the kid like this as he walks by, nothing. I'm like, mother so part of my entire goal on this dinner is just for a crumb. And I thought this was going to be some rinky dink spot. So I thought, you know, I had a good chance because, you know, at the end of the day, what are Ludwig viewers more than anything? All right. Not male, not young. Broke bitches. That's right. So I was like, I'll go to this rinky dink spot and I'll roll up with all my broke ass boys. All right. Plan is simple. Stay poor. Take pics. You know, the vibes thought it would have been hype. But we roll up and there's a damn G-Wagon. We go to the double doors. I am not short, but the door is twice my height. Now, part of this thing, this whole thing, is that this was all on the house. I didn't have to pay a dime. I walk in. They're like, name? And I'm like, oh, Ludwig. You know, because I, I didn't know. I, I They said they got it all set up, but I was a little bit nervous. And I immediately recognized that this place is so out of my league but the food looked delicious. We finally get a seat and they come with a menu. All right, and the guy's like, just so you know, everything's on the house. This is a treat for you tonight. But if you want, we can have the chef prepare everything. And I am a man who's down for any ride. As long as I'm not the one driving, a wonderful experience is surely to ensue. 
So me and Cutie look at each other, and we go, hey, yeah, 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 please, please do this thing. Yeah, 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 do the chef thing. Do the chef thing. Chef thing's poggers. Throw away the menu. And he's like, as you wish. <laughs> Disappears. <laughs> we get a new waitress comes in. She goes, hey, what would you like? You know, for your mixed drink. Again, all in the house. And I'm like, uh, I, you know, just, just surprise me. And then this is where I, I look and I analyze. I'm analyzing the patrons. Behind us is like this weird group of LA people. Like, it was a guy who was almost bald, like skin tight, you know, Swedish style slick back hair with a small dog on his lap. And I was like, that, what are you, a Bond villain? And I'm looking around and I'm like, damn, I am the poorest person in this room. But that's not what I care about. I'm not looking for wealth, I'm looking for age. Why? Because I'm looking for one motherfucker who could be a Ludwig viewer. See an eight year old, and I'm like, eh, too young. Looks like he's in like prep school or something. See a 17 year old, I'm like, eh, too old. Seems like he watches Mango. And I see this one kid who seems to be like a high schooler who's like not wearing something that's like too insanely nice. And in a very normal, not weird at all way, I was doing this. Boys. The plan is boys. Just seeing if maybe this kid ever watched a little Ludwig Ogren in his life. That's all I'm looking for. Again, a crumb. Nothing. I'm like, all right, whatever. We move on with dinner. First course, sashimi. I don't even know what the fish was, but what I do know is I love fish. So they walk over, they take the sashimi away, they come back, they go, hey, are you ready for your next drink? I'm like, what? I'm picking my drink. This is half full. They're like, trust me. This needs to be paired with champagne. What? Why? What? All right, fine. Bring it on. So they bring me some, some champagne, and it absolutely needs to be paired with, first time I've ever had this in my life, caviar. Nary a day have I sucked down the sweet eggs of a fish. I've had fish. But now I'm regressing. We're having baby fish. I don't know how we go lower from here. All right. We're going to go to fish cum. That doesn't sound that good. But this was about as salty as I'd imagine fish cum would be. It's pure salt. It's like I'm literally eating salt. And so I'm popping them. Pop, 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 pop. Chugging the champagne. Going absolutely nuts. And I'm thinking to myself like, damn. We are two courses in. I don't know how long this is going to go. I'm about full. So I'm getting a bit full. I've drank a lot. I decide to go to the bathroom. That's a thing I like to do. I like going to the bathroom at every place I go to see what it's like. You know what I mean? I'm a bit of a bathroom connoisseur. So I walk to the bathroom. Great bathroom. Take my piss there. Wash my hands. Great flow. Great temperature on the sink. I walk back to my table. And as I am ravening through these tables, I see a guy. Seems to be in his 50s at the table just diagonally away from us gray hair beautiful gray hair mind you i mean better flow than me and i was like i know that guy i couldn't think of who it was but it was a famous actor so i sit down and this is the exact way i described it to cutie let's see if you can figure out who it was i says to cutie i says i just saw a famous actor she goes what I go, yes, this guy, he had gray hair, and I saw him in a movie one time, and he played like the dad of the kid. I think it was a Disney movie. I think it might have been a sports movie. I don't really know, but I think he wore glasses in it, and he was like a coach maybe or something like that. And so we start looking. High School Musical? No. Double the basketball one with twins? No. Can't figure it out. Finally, I go, cutie, you have to go to the bathroom. You have to walk back and you have to figure out who the hell it is because it's going to piss me off. I'm not going to be able to enjoy my meal if I'm thinking about who the hell this is. So she goes begrudgingly to the bathroom. This is all a ruse. This entire time I'm looking around, just lurking. Who's a Ludwig viewer in this bitch? Who's a Ludwig viewer? Find a couple like 19 year olds, looks like college kids. I, I walk by the table while she's in the bathroom. Just kind of like circling it like, oh my God. Has anyone noticed what time it is? The plan is simple. <sighs> oh, can't wait to sleep in my car's bed tonight. <laughs> Nothing. No one's biting. I say, fuck it. I sit back down, feeling dejected. She walks back. She goes, that's not a famous actor. I'm like, what? <laughs> Two L's. Back to back. Feels like I just had a conversation with Aiden Ross. I can't handle the amount of L's that are coming my way. You're telling me that's not a famous actor and no one hears a Ludbud? What's the point of me being in this goddamn restaurant? 
Well, it's all relieved when they come with a third dish and a third goddamn drink. They come over, they go, this is a red wine we have from the southeast of France. I says back to the guy, you mean Nice? And he goes, I don't know, shut the fuck up. Gives me the wine and then gives me a lamb chop. And now I'm sitting with half a glass of champagne, half a glass of wine, and half a mixed drink. I'm like, these guys are trying to get me fucked up. But I finish my meal, leave, they come back, another dish. And I says to the lady at this point, I says, okay, how many more? I can't handle this. And she goes, it's okay. We just have one more course. And I'm like, bless up, queen, bless up. She did not say that this course was the mother load of all courses. They show up with a plate of something I've never had before because it almost seems feral to eat this. It's called bone marrow, which basically comes in two vertebrae with bone marrow in it in a spoon. And I'm like, what the hell is even that? And I'm like, wow, what a crazy main course. And she goes, oh no, that's just a side dish. She throws down phew, Brussels sprouts, phew, buttered spinach. And I'm like, okay, we're good here. And she goes, oh no, 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 no. You cannot touch the plate I'm about to bring out. I'm like, what? She goes to cutie, like I'm a baby boy. This is not a meme. She goes to cutie and she goes, make sure he doesn't touch his plate. It's 500 degrees. They come out with a 28 day dried steak, New York filet mignon strip for like four people minimum. I am saying this thing was about the size of like a ham roast on Christmas day. Slap it on the table. First thing I do, tss, ha, a little bit hot, but I got away with it. They didn't notice. And I'm like, how the hell am I supposed to eat this all? Then the guy comes down, fourth drink. Talks to me like I'm a brand new baby. He goes, this is Sherry. You might not have ever had this before. I look at the guy like, what are you talking about? All right, I'm a 25 year old man. I've obviously never had sherry before. I pretty much only exclusively drink Michelob Ultra or some weird White Claws. But I didn't want to seem like I was dumb. So I was like, yes, sir, sherry, obviously. He's like, it might be a little more bitter. I was like, relax. I worked at a wine magazine. Grab the sherry, sip it. Oh my God, I'm basically drinking actual dirt. The meal is in front of us. I'm like, ooh, sheesh. I'm eating my steak, delicious. I mean, the, the fat's so rendered, it comes into my mouth, it's a goddamn salt gusher. I'm the type of guy I was raised this way. I cannot leave a full plate. It like eats away at my heart. First bite, I'm like, <sighs> but I have to eat it. Cause I just feel like they took this animal's bones, <sighs> ripped it out of its spine like it's Mortal Kombat. <sighs> Slapped it on my plate and then for me to fuck around and not eat it. So I eat all my stuff They finally come out with the dessert. I'm like, I've had four drinks at this point I'm so, I was the one that's supposed to drive back. I'm like, can you get me an espresso the way it just goes espresso martini? I go fucking chill, bro. All right, not even a famous actor Goddamn, no one noticed me in this restaurant. You got to relax for a moment and she goes wait what, what do you mean famous actor? I go well, I thought that gentleman over there was a famous actor at this point. He'd left she looks at me, she goes, oh, the gentleman over there? I was like, yeah. She goes, that was Kurt Russell. And all of a sudden, I think, <gasps> memories flooding to me. <gasps> Who the fuck's Kurt Russell again? Sounds familiar, it's like a tip of my tongue. Is he in some shit? He's the main father in Sky High. That's where I knew him from. Sky High, I've seen that movie like 15 times in my life. After a wonderful night, after seeing Kurt Russell, I am still, although satisfied with hunger, unsatisfied with a little bit of space for an ego stroke. Although I was fed, my ego remained starved. I wandered the streets of Brentwood yelling, boys, today, with nothing back, a dead echo, my own voice, the only thing that ring. Eventually we go home, I go to bed, and I wake up absolutely stuffed still, but a bit groggy, because you get tired when you eat. And so, we decide to go to some fancy coffee place. We drive, who knows how long, miles, me at the helm, everyone else like Ludwig, why are we still driving? Wistfully into the sunset, thinking about what could have been if just a single person recognized me. Finally, I find a spot that was rated highly on Yelp. I order a coffee. And by I order, I mean, Nick, can you get me a coffee? I don't know what I really want to get. 
My coffee's ready. I walk up. Mask on, mind you. And the guy looks at me as he hands me my coffee. Looks up. Our eyes meet. He goes, do you stream? And not trying to waste the moment or have him confuse me with a bigger streamer. I go, I'm Ludwig. And he goes, yes. Yes, that's exactly, that's exactly who I thought you were. You are Ludwig. And I go, I am Ludwig. A picture. And I say, yes. Yes, a picture. And we snap a few. And he looks to me and he goes, I'm a YouTube viewer. And I go, get the fuck out of here, you degenerate. Watch on Twitch, you lazy ass. And I walk out of that place, never to return again. What a degenerate. Watch me on Twitch once in a while, you son of a bitch. I wanted a crumb, not a degen to meet me. Come on, YouTube frogs only. Where are my Twitch viewers? 20K of you, come on, disperse. But that was the end. That was the story. That was one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. The most famous person I've ever met. And one of the first times I've ever been noticed or asked for a picture since this whole entire COVID thing started. So I can't wait to eventually go to like, I don't know, Disneyland or some Smash tournament. You're going to see me. I'm going to wear like a neon green shirt on the front. Boys, the plan is simple and thick black letters on the back. YouTube frogs beware. <laughs> Just walking around. Hey. The plan is simple. And if you see me, you come up to me, chat. You come up to me.